Hey guys, it's me again. I thought that I would do a quick little thing to, to talk about my Google Home device since I haven't done that yet on the vlog. So I got a Google Home for Christmas. I really like it. I, I think it's really cool. I don't have enough devices yet that justify, um, well not justify, but that work with the Google Home. That's like Philip Hue I've been looking at, the lights, if you guys aren't familiar with the lights. There's also, um, uh, there's security systems, uh, there's all kinds of stuff. So I got the Google Home and I've been playing with it. Uh, I've been doing like voice commands, so I set up my voice with it. So now when I say stuff, uh, it will recognize it. So I can say stuff like, hey Google, what's my name? Your name is Josh. Pretty cool. And then I, um, and then, you know, so every morning I'll do stuff like, we'll just go out. I have it set up in my kitchen so we could do things like this. I could say things like, hey Google, tell me about my day. Good evening, Josh. The time is 5.51 p.m. Currently in Athens at 62 and clear. Today, it'll be foggy with a forecasted high of 66 and a low of 45. Have a good one. Here's the latest news. Resuming NPR news summary at 5 p.m. today. For a deal on immigration. So it just starts selling the news and we'll go through. Lawmakers. Let me pause it. So you can pause it by touching it. Equipment they need. Trump also called on Congress to. You could also use voice commands to do some of the same things. So you could. So like I, you saw me, I touched it by pausing it to touch it, right? So I can say stuff like, hey, Google, resume play. A comprehensive immigration overhaul. Pretty cool. Former hey, British Google, intelligence stop, please. And it stops. It's pretty sweet. Uh, you can do all kinds of things. So uh, like, for instance, I could say stuff like, hey, Google, how many teaspoons are in a tablespoon? One U.S. tablespoon equals three U.S. teaspoons. Cool. Hey, Google. Tell me something really cool. If you collected all the grass in people's yards across the U.S., you could cover San Francisco 1,000 times over. Hmm. Hey, Google. How do I make baked chicken? Okay, I've got a recipe called Simple Baked Chicken Breast from All Recipes. This recipe serves four and takes about 40 minutes to make. Does that sound good? Sounds great. Great, I'm glad. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, while I've got you in the, in the kitchen still where my Google Home is, I wanted to show you uh, this. Uh, I'll kind of show you what's in the Google Home if you haven't seen it yet. You may have already seen some videos, you may haven't. Here's the Google Home again, it's pretty, pretty sweet, right? So, and on the back of it, you've got this, you can, you can mute it when you want. And this little light, there's a little light here. I don't know if you can see it, but it lets you know that it's on and working. And, and there is a plug. So it plugs straight into the wall outlet uh, for power. And it just stays powered on all the time. And it's, it's just waiting for your command. Now, some people might be concerned that it think it's listening all the time, but it's not. The only thing it's ever, it's only, you have to say the key word. And the key word is, Okay, Google. Thank you, Google. You're welcome. Uh, or the other key word is, hey, Google. I like you. Thanks. I like you, too. And I promise not to let it go to my head. Pretty cool, right? So, but I'll, I want to do something. So I'm going to unplug this just because I don't want to damage it. And then this piece comes off and there you go. So this is just a little bit, the base of it is mesh and it's got, um, it's got, uh, you know, the mesh for the speaker. And this, these are the speakers. There's looks like there's three, three speakers. And then you've also got this, huh? I just noticed that there's a little USB. I wonder what that does. Kind of curious now you look into that. Um, but yeah, so this one has a pretty good bass. Uh, the music sounds pretty good on it. For instance, we could probably, uh, once I boot it back up, we could probably listen to, I could show you how we listen to music. I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube though for having something that's copyrighted, but 
Maybe I'll maybe classical music's not copyrighted. We'll do that. But once it boots up, we'll 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 try some music. Okay, so I'm, I want to boot this up really quick just to show you how um, you know how easy it is to set up. So give me one second. Let me plug this guy in. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. And once I plug it in, it should start lighting up. Hey Google, are you awake? I'm here anytime you need me. How can I help? Nah, I'm okay for now. Thank you. Oh, okay. Pretty cool. Now, as I mentioned before, let's just see if I can get to play some music since I think classical is pretty much uh, is good for copyright issues. We'll try that, but it works with anything. I could do Allman Brothers Band. I could do anything, and you can connect it to either like your Spotify, or you connect it to uh, music. I have a Spotify account that's a, a premium one, so I usually have it streaming to that, so I don't have to worry about it, you know, bouncing around or anything. But let, let's try something. Let's uh, say, um, "Hey Google, can you play Mozart on Spotify for me?" Playing Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart on Spotify. Pretty cool, right? So it usually actually loads faster than that. I don't know why it was loading slower. So there's a few features you have. You can either you can do the volume this way, where I slide it up and down. You can also do things like this. So hey Google, increase volume to 60%. Hey Google, increase volume to 80%. Hey Google, increase volume 100%. Hey Google, decrease volume to 20%. You can also say things like, hey Google, increase volume. And every time you do that, it will increase it one notch. It's pretty cool. And then you can say, hey Google, stop. Hey Google, stop. Uh, I wanted to show some other things with the uh, Google Home too. I'll I'm going to show the app as well. Uh, I'll, I'll do like a screen share showing uh, running my app, and uh, and then as soon as the Nest comes in, I'll do an update and I'll show you the Nest. So, uh, but yeah, l l let's look at the app a little bit, huh? Why don't we do that? So cool. Here's my screen, and I'll I'll just show you when. If you look right here uh, on, on the right, there's a thing that says home, has like the Google colors in it. Well, that's the Google Home app. So uh, I don't mind, we'll launch it, we'll hit that. And now it's launching. And so this is what you see. You, you saw in the video, I had said, hey, how do I make chicken breast? Well, now it gives me a link of something I searched for. So I searched for a simple baked chicken breast. Um, you can scroll through, you can look at open all recipes. Um, as you see, I tried to play, um, um, uh, Mozart, it showed that I was playing it on the kitchen speaker. I can play it, stop it. I can do everything with the app. I can set time. Now, now it gives me other things like other, um, suggestions of things I can try, like set a timer. I can, I can tell Google to stop playing something, keep playing it really cool. I can Chromecast stuff to Netflix. Uh, it gives me a thing to get the app. Um, it's giving me other suggestions of stuff to say or to do, it's like get weather. Um, and, uh, yeah. And it, it has all kinds of things. It tells you other things you can do too. So it's pretty cool. So you, this is the discover part and then I can browse. So now I can browse through my app and then I can just from the app, I can tell it to play to my TV. I don't have it set up yet for the TV. Uh, to do that, that's something else I want to do. And once I do that, I can show you guys how that works as well. But I do have a, a TV that will allow me to do that. And I have some other apps that will allow me to do things as well. So it's pretty cool. If I hit this option, it kind of comes up, goes back. 
that's just your Google account options. So yeah, that's that. There's your companion app. I don't really use that app this much uh, for the companion because I don't have enough stuff. But once I get more uh, smart devices in home, maybe I'll start using it more. I don't know. So yeah, I, I really enjoy my my Google uh, Home, and I can't wait to get more things to put in there so that I can have a lot more fun. So I thought you guys would be interested. As soon as I get the Nest in, I'll load another video and. Uh, and I'll, 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 I'll unbox the Nest, and then I will also do an installation video as well. Show you guys how easy or hard. I don't know. It might be kind of fun to... Maybe I should do a live video of that, right? But anyway, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it, guys. Uh, if, you, if you like what you're seeing, please like the video. You can subscribe to my channel if, if you like what you're seeing. If you're not, you can dislike. That's fine, too. And I hope to see you guys around. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Bye now.